So that's genuinely my favorite okay. part of the movie, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but what yeah. were you saying, Jamie? Yeah, how would you conclude it at the movie though? If Momoshiki comes down, like is Mo is Momoshiki? If you were to rewrite it, would Momoshiki just be like, or Angus uh, Kinchiki? Would they just be the two last Osuskis, or were we just supposed to expect that? Yeah, Osuskis are never going to come down again, and that's just it. I think the best way to do it would probably just have them be the last Osuskis or something, or yeah. just make the Osuskis like one small family or something okay. like just have kinshiki be momoshiki's genuine dad yeah. kaguya would just be like the sister of momoshiki or something yeah. and then okay. we would just explain how they got to their level of power in like in a very quick and concise way or yeah. just say they are the last of the clan and i feel like, like one or the other probably the boruto movie by including their existence i feel like it's crucial for kaguya as a character if you take if you strip away that tragic element of why she wants to build the Zetsu army to protect her children, which is why her children go against her, rather than it be yeah. because she's a mad dictator who's trying to take over the world, blah, blah, blah. She ate the chakra fruit to end all war, blah, blah, blah. Infinite Tsukiyomi, nonsense. Yeah. You have to have this element of these other Rotsutsuki who are stronger than her coming after her to have that humanity in Kaguya. And it's supposed to, like, there yeah. needs to be humanity in Kaguya for her to work as the final villain. It's funny that you say that because I don't see any humanity in any other Otsuski besides her. You could argue certain aspects of humanity. Um, yeah. Not in the way we like to refer to it, but like jealousy, arrogance, um, stuff like that. These are human things that, you know, you don't see the local um, butterfly down the street being you know, particularly jealous of other butterflies, as far as I'm aware, anyway. Um, it, superiority complexes, inferiority complexes, stuff like that. Yeah, it's a lot, These are a lot. human traits, so you could it's argue, like but yes. the way we're really referring to it is different, which is only relevant in Kaguya. Now, you know, I will things say, like love and caring and stuff. Yeah. yeah, I will say, this is a little bit of a stretch. This sort of goes in line with Kamui's thing, but it's like a muddy ground. Jigen obviously didn't care about kawaki but he was raising him as a like a child like as his dad he became his foster dad adopted him he was hugging him at the very very end like obviously he wasn't hugging him out of love but again like he has to be a dad to kawaki to be wrong so that naruto's the right dad to kawaki because ishiki yeah. versus naruto is about who's the correct dad for Kawaki and how they go about <laughs> being a dad. So Jigen has to be a dad and care about him as a dad for him to be relevant because like, it's not like Kawaki's biological father was the antagonist of the arc <laughs> or anything because he didn't care. Jigen cared about oh, him yeah, as a care, child. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> like there's some element of humanity there, even if it's not positive. Yeah. You know, I'm 